So when they um when the the women they heard that they were kind of like oh okay like they got it and then one of the women she was like oh Christ resurrected because I said then he re resurrects Christ in us and then she was like oh Christ in us well no because they're they're in the Orthodox they're in the they're not Tewahedo no 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 well here's the thing they've seen the father they're not Tewahedo see the Orthodox Church and I continue to say is not Tewahedo because Tewahedo is to be one is to come to union and unity the minute that the actually by the grace of, of the Almighty during the, the the manifestation of his majesty and his and his um uh, manifesting his roles and responsibilities as the authority in the father during that time it was even a grace period because I'm not prepared to say that the, that the common folk or even the complete church establishment was tewahedo with, with, with what was going on. I don't know that. I cannot judge that far because, because it would be a lie. I'm sure some people had an idea that, hey, this is coming true. I, I, I'm pretty sure other people were maybe like they didn't even know what was going on. You know? I don't know the minds and hearts of the individuals, but after 74, for sure, the, the Orthodox Church is not Tewahedo because Tewahedo is to, be, is to become one, to be made into one, to, to fuse into one. And so when you're missing the, the, prophet, the spirit of prophecy in, in revelation of this time, then you're no longer Tewahedo. See, See, the Tawahedo church became Tawahedo when they were Hebrew Jews and then they received Christ because the word manifested in flesh and they did not deny it. They fused it. That was Tawahedo, like they were one. And until the manifestation of God the Father and the person of Haile Selassie I, until that time, they were one because they were uh, up until what, what God had revealed in fullness, that church had received it. But when the Father was revealed, it's like they lost it, you know. But it's because the the body was was severed from the soul, right? And so we become the soul, you know. And the body was just it, it became corrupt. So there was like a separation right there. But even then, we we were like travailing in the birth. It's not until like just recently when when we're beginning to to like become Tewahedo, to be made into one. So, so that's. So, so the the woman, it was kind of like, there. See, they don't see the the people in the in the in the Orthodox Ethiopian Orthodox Church. Um, there they know that Christ in them, and they know yeah the Holy Spirit, and they know there's a Father, but the Father is a question mark. And to these women, Sister Rastafari, but they're Orthodox when they go to Orthodox Church. It's like. It's like there's a, a a very confusing disconnect. Like like they don't know what to make of it. They don't they probably don't know in their hearts like when's the father the father, when's the son the son? Like I'm not sure if we even have the son, you know, because they're kinda going along with it because they know that there's something to it but not in the clarity that, that it should be. So I told I, I just opened my mouth and I said, Listen, his majesty sent personally sent um Yisihak, Abu Abuna Yisihak as a sign. Not as a as a follow him like a like a hint hint you're missing something, but it's not that. And I and I said it very clearly. Listen, Yisuhak could not teach us what he's already indoctrinated not to receive. See, Yisuhak cannot go farther than what the than what the outline of what the church allows God to be. See, when you do indoctrinate God, it's like, oh, this is God, and nothing outside of this can be can be God. We have just limited, we have just encircled, we have just like mapped out God. From here onwards, He cannot reveal nothing new to you because then you're then you are not um, being true to the doctrine that we have set. I mean, I, I don't. I know that they probably don't know that that's what they're doing, but. From an outside point of view, that's exactly what they're doing. Because what happens if like more parts of the Bible become revealed like like they have? It's outside of their doctrine. So you are being an apostate to their doctrine, but not to God necessarily. 
So, so when I said that, I said, listen, like His Majesty sent Abu Nayyid Shahak because we obviously were missing something. We were missing the spirit that that began the movement. We were missing Christ. Yes, sis. But but it, but Abu Nayyid was like, I don't know how to help you. I understand what you're saying, but I cannot go beyond that which it's like Balaam even. I cannot go beyond that which is my master. My, if I say that Haile Selassie first is God, I'm being an, I'm being I'm gonna be like a blasphemer in in the church. You know, so he even was in a, in a difficult situation. I'm not sure what to think about what he personally believed, but he knew one thing. He could not be teaching Haile Selassie first as God. Listen, if you follow us, you have to let go of that idea. And the problem is that a lot of the, a lot of Rastafari did. They figured, well, you know, His Majesty wanted this. I mean, this is what it has to be. But the thing is that that, that is not to Wahido. It, we should not have to lose the father to gain the son because the father and the son are one and that's the difficulty at hand but you know what John grace and mercy abound um, greatly because because that's just like the the spirit of prophecy everything has to be um, uh, you know done as it is written for it to be fulfilled and for it to be like you know a one a one and a main for it to be sure sure true true and faithful so that's how that played out but but the but then the one of the the elder women she was like i was i was a buna um her, his uh his secretary for 18 years she said <laughs> and i'm like what i'm all like i didn't mean he was a bad person or anything but um she was like no 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 i i accept what you said i accept what you, what you say she said i understand it's just, I'm just saying, he was a really, no, and then she made mention that Abuna Yusehak had the opportunity to go to Texas, to, to be translated, he's, she was very, she really loved the individual because, um, you know, he was, he loved them, he said he loves, he loved the people and every, and, and we loved him, and no doubt, I mean, I've seen some of the interviews on YouTube and stuff, and everything he said is really, really straight and firm, the thing is that, that under the context that, that, you know, he, He's got he's got laws he's got to abide by, you know? He can't go beyond those laws. He's he's appointed to a position in church and he is he is expected to you know, to act within the, 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 the lines, you know, that he's able to. You know, and, and well you know, they even took out the the name of the emperor in in you know how in the what do you call that? The um the liturgy it was taken out like when them Yadam showed us on um, even with the official like Amharic or Amarnia documents so you know even there even who knows maybe even before he could have claimed that maybe even be who knows this this is speculation I don't know and I don't I'm not trying to say this is for sure but I'm saying perhaps maybe like even within the the church doctrine if the name had not been removed it could still be proclaimed maybe but you know perhaps i don't know because it's still within the liturgy so it's within the limits of of what a church member could could testify to you know i don't know that makes in the original but because it was replaced i'm saying just speculating like just just for just for fun sake you know like i wonder if if it was still instituted, like never had been removed from the liturgy, I wonder if it's if that makes it if that makes it like legitimate for a priest, Orthodox priest, to claim his majesty as as you know, um, as you know, divinely authoritative over over his responsibilities. So that's just kind of like up for grabs. Just a, it makes no difference. I mean, we know what it is, but. Be no chance of peace oh. oh yes, you went to Mandela. I met him once. Yeah, yeah, in San Diego at a, at a gathering with um, with uh, they were, um, well, I wouldn't know how to say, it, but members of the, of, they were Bobo Shanti, I believe. It was, it was um, the elders, the elders, his wife, uh, and and just just a couple of um. Of sister from from the Ethiopian Orthodox Church in, in downtown Los Angeles and and Wendell Mandela himself. So it was just you know just the uh, 
like a, a small gathering. I don't, I don't really know where to put my finger, how to put my finger on it, and like you said, how to give it articulation, yes, no, I'm not even No, no, and, and what I'm seeing, I'm, I'm seeing it, and I'm, and I'm gonna just be like, uh, like real about it. I don't, I also don't know what they teach. Um, so, but, but, so how do I sustain my claims if I don't know what they teach, and, and how could I be saying that, that they don't allow this or not? Well, because that's, that's a very, like, um, it's, it's just a very obvious observation. I mean, it, it's it's not permitted to think that Haile Selassie first is anything but just I don't even know if they even mentioned if anything he's just you know the last emperor to them and whatever but he but he's just not associated with scripture at all which is pretty weird you know not to even associate Ethiopia with with scripture at all which is very weird they, they, I think they knew I mean they, I think a lot of church members knew about the um about yeah no doubt but but see it's been it's been let's see 1974 do the math up until now we're, we're living in a time where it's like one year it's like it's it's even in a documentary you know the documentary like you can find it on youtube the one titled the lion of judah and where it begins ministers of the church, you know, leaders of the world ha have probably lost count of the times that they meet each other to, you know, to um, welcome the emperor or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, how they receive them with, you know, the, 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 the planes pass by and then the national Ethiopian anthem and everyone's meeting him, red carpet, everything. So anyways, he's in that documentary. Um, they he says something like or no 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 it might not have even been that documentary but in one documentary they say something to the effect of like that it's been 40 years and it could and it could might as well be like no it was that one they say that that it it, it feels like more than a century ago so, so and and that's very true because the disconnect because technology and because of like knowledge is so rapid it's like 40 years ago is like a million years ago because so much has, has supposedly, you know, because not much has changed, you know, everything's actually the same or worse. But, but it just seems that the mind is engulfed with so much knowledge, supposedly vain knowledge, that it's like that memory has been lost in time. It's like it's, it's, it's a day that no one even recalls. So that that right there is kind of interesting, but I'm I'm kind of like going off topic. I mean, as far as what I, I wanted to um, make mention to the, because uh, remember I said that the that the May fifth is is the great day. It's it's the day where where like everything comes to Wahido. It becomes one. And I've and I've I brought this this information forth like many times in in, in in Spanish like during the like presentations because because I've been very sure of it since since like a long time May fifth becomes like it's not to say that the other feast days don't get kept it just means that is a it's a day that surpasses like all other days and that that day is symbolical. Now it's not just let me first say that it's not just a, a day like like 24 hours. It's a day. It, it, a day is like it's a it's a time period. 
it's just it's a it's a series of events within a time frame and that time frame cannot be limited to to our ideas or conceptions of time because after that day time is no more now that day came at the at the at the end times but not at the at the time of, no 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 it came at the time of the end but it's but that day would be like the the ushering in the end of time the, because then it it manifest like Chayl, the strength of power in olam being in time within time and over time you know especially i mean just just consider technology itself if if one day receives this if one individual receives my teaching in YouTube like on uh, on this matter a hundred years from now then that day is that day for him it could be tomorrow it could be the next day whenever a person receives the Word of God and mixes it with faith that day is that day I don't even know how to. Okay, I just been asked how do you spell specially like this? I think I'm all like I don't even know. Not specially, it's specially. Okay, Look, so I guess just with an e. You would you would have to grab a dictionary, <gasps> dude. When you know you know whenever I grab a dictionary, you can just type it in the search thing. Especially. Oh my gosh, Tata! She grabbed the phone and she's asking the phone to tell it. I don't like that. Anyways, so. So I had, I've, I've brought forth this information like many times and, and I've used um, s different things to, especially the autobiography of His Majesty because because um, during the time of war you can see a, you can see a fulfillment of, um, of Bamidbar. Otherwise otherwise the book of Bamidbar or, or, or Rit Zehirqa, which is like the book of numbers, uh, otherwise you would have to accept it to have been fulfilled by Yeshua HaMashiach but like only in the like the, in the metaphorical sense because yes he had an army but no he did not have like a, like a, the what the most like plain understanding of what an army actually is so the lowest level of what an army is people you say army people will imagine like a hundred people dressed up with the same suit and they're all carrying guns and marching you know so, in that sense, Yeshua did not fulfill that, and and what? so that's why I'm saying that you know part a lot of the information that I utilize to to prove that this day May fifth is the new day, which he himself says, and this kind of adds to the fact that this isn't by the by the lunar calendar, this isn't by the solar cal calendar, this isn't by the witness of the stars, it's not by prophecy, it's by the it's by promulgation of the very mouth of the man that represents you know God Almighty in the flesh so that makes it way different that that actually fulfills that the time and the hour or the season no one knows not that's in the authority of Haile Selassie first he's got the power to proclaim that day the day that he desires it to be but even he did not desire it to be a certain day because he too is you know he's being faithful to, to like the, the the natural like um, series of events that that's taking place but here's the separation, and this is where it gets interesting. He's expressing Yahweh in Elohim. Because Elohim, if, if we could, could accept it to be, and we should, as like the natural, the natural um, power of creation, but, but then the natural laws abide in the sense that, that like, um, you know, like a, a, a karmatic idea of, of, of law and effect, you know? But so, because His Majesty does express the Yahweh in it that I am that which I am, I am as I am. So I, I'm the, I, re, I'm the revelation, and I reveal myself. Like I live and cause to live, I breathe and cause to to breathe. So because He's that expression, He's like, He's over, like the effects that the Elohim strength bring, and He actually manipulates the the heavens to to you know to. To be a provider of a good outcome through him on earth, and so we see that his victory over over Goliath, over the Vatican, Rome, and 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 his army, Mussolini, and all that, which was impossible to have defeated if you would have been working under the the karmatic like laws of nature. 
just like it's it's only common sense it's only the laws of, of creation that that big army would have destroyed that small army you know so Ethiopia really had no chance of winning that war but because they had a representative that can manipulate the heights you know the heavenly beings and and, and all creation ministers to him then he then creation the natural laws even though he's not moving them like like um with this hand grabbing, you know, grabbing Jupiter and putting a little bit more over here to affect this outcome, per se, he is, in a sense, through his through his his being. So that allowed for for you know him to to proclaim Shut that up, day. Micah. This is the day that we have defeated, you know, an enemy superior to us. Like we are we are made above, you know, even the heavenly, you know, the heavenly bodies and all that kind of influences. So he declared a day of liberation, liberation from sin, liberation from missing the mark. And and that was that May 5th. Now, I kind of got into like just why I kind of, uh, why I utilized the autobiography like for that reason. Well, because in it, we have an expression of, of, a, of a detailed account, not too detailed, but just enough. Sufficient for us to to know what His Majesty was was living during the the feast during the the Fasica, during Pesach, and so that's what opened up my eyes. This is the Day of Atonement, the day. Don't you dare! These are the day. Hey, hey, Micah. No, <laughs> okay, this is the day that kind of like um. It, it brings, it merges the, the, like the, not fall festivals, I don't want to say, <laughs> that sounds kind of bad, you know, the latter day, like the, the, um, the, the, the feast that are to be kept, like tabernacles, and the feast of trumpets, and the, and the day of atonement, because I know that His Majesty is that part in space-time, and He's going through, and He is living through Pesach, so I know that 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 day that time period is a, it's a coming together of both it's a coming together of like because the day of atonement would be a day of forgiveness but he's being he's living it in sorrow because he's keeping Pesach like he is the Pesach like and keeping the spiritual Pesach and the and the like soul Pesach it's like he, during during Passover he himself and and his kingdom is a Passover and he's being passed over, you know, like he's on a cross too. And then he's he's keeping at one with the one that died on the cross and, and, and resurrected through him. You know, and he's he's in heavenly Jerusalem. He's in Lalibela, a representation of heavenly Jerusalem, of the, a new Jerusalem. No, he himself, Hadith Salasi, first is in heavenly Jerusalem. He is in new Jerusalem, which is Lalibela. And 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 he's keeping the Passover, you know, like just like just like Jesus Christus. Then he leaves the country in exile, the fulfillment of his crucifixion, in the sense that now he's dead, he's out of the country of the living, and then he goes to Jerusalem and prays, you know, like so, just like a, a an expression of the self, one once and again and again and again and again. And interestingly enough, when he's when he's during um when he's um. When he leaves Lalibela, he walks into this church, and I think it's getting it's um uh, it's the garden. I forgot the Amharic for it, but it, it it's the name of the church is like the um the Garden of Mary, something like that. The Garden of Mary, and and the the thing is that His Majesty testifies to the fact that when he when he um when he walked in. The you know the whole church the, the 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 leaders of the church whoever um, maintains it began or the priests better yet they they began to recite the Magnificat which is which, which is the 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 prayer of Mary so this day basically what the church was saying like prophetically and in action actively they were saying like this day. The the church has 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 been has received from from God. God has remembered the poor, you know. He, so it's what the, it's when after Gabriel, like um, no no no, it's I think it's when um, when Mary walks into um, 
walks into the. I, I better. I better check that out. It's it's in Luke. It's right in the beginning of Luke. The Annunciation. It's not that one. It's in it's in Luke chapter one verse forty six where it begins it said and Mary said my soul doth magnify the Lord and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior notice how it said God my Savior it's not talking about Yeshua how could it she barely got you know she's six she's barely I think like three months in or six months in I'm not even sure about that I would have to check it's it the spirit. No, it, it doesn't matter. It was a, the son was barely to be being conceived in her, mm -hmm. so she's saying this prophetically. But but you know, not a whole lot of people catch on to this because people just have this idea that Jesus Christ is God, and yeah, he is. But then, but up until that point, Mary is actually expressing the fact that God, like so, has you know, is my savior. So how could it be the son if the son is not yet even manifest through her? For he hath regarded the lowest state of his handmaiden. So, anyways, you know, Ethiopia is in a, in a in a poor in a lowest state, and is the handmaiden, and then God, you know, in the flesh walks into her. So they start reciting the priests start reciting um, this this prayer prophetically, you know, and it is God that is their savior because you know five day, five years later he, he he returns and frees Ethiopia. Something that nobody would expect it. That's because he came in the name of the Lord, Jesus Christos. See, salvation was prepared before the foundation of the earth. So it's like there was a way, you know, and, and a way that is that is pure and clean. Anyway, so just kind of like, um, I was just kind of making mention of some of the stuff that I utilized from... Um, from the autobiography example, you know, like they're going into the, the battle of, um, uh, the battle of, I forgot the name, but, um, what is it? One of the last battles and, and his majesty led the, the, the troops, you know, he led one of the quarters and until that very moment, you can't say that, that the book of numbers is fulfilled because, or the exodus, because who went before them? You know, the, the angel of the Lord went before them. And so in the flesh, His Majesty is the one that goes before them. Like like going into battle upon a horse, you know. But He's riding a, a pure horse. He's, he's riding Israel. And and even that's kind of interesting because I don't I don't consider Ethiopia at that point Israel. He's riding it. He's riding it out for us, which is something that that is it's no need to go into now. But I've I've kind of like uh, I think I even did a video in English concerning how how the preservation of Ethiopia's ancient independence actually had very little to do with Ethiopia concerning I mean uh, you know considering the fact that Ethiopia would have become corrupt like immediately during the time when his majesty would have said it is fulfilled and that's a fact and that's like he knew it that's why he gave the people a constitution to help them to to defend them so that when when he stepped down and we were recipients of his rulership so that the government would have not been structured in such a way that whatever kind of crazy monarch decided to replace him would just would just order the extinction of all Ethiopians. I mean, nobody ever thinks about that, but you know for sure that that's been the goal of, of the adversary since the beginning, to, to make Ethiopians extinct. But at this point, even if they would have done that, it would have made no difference because we would have had the living memory of um of what Ethiopia represents and anyways the the memory was supposed to be preserved for us so his majesty declared like it's it's the honoring of like I come to Geneva to to make you know to um to take care of the of of you know to uh I forgot exactly what he said but about the Italian evil deeds and the honoring of my promise to my dispersed he says that he says that but Ollendorf he made a mistake. He makes the biggest error in thinking that His Majesty made a mistake when he used the word which instead of will. Because will means contract, means means like a pact, means an agreement, a treaty in, in Amharic. So he figured, oh, no, 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 he must mean the international obligations established by the treaty. It, when His Majesty was saying no... Um, I'm here to, to proclaim the you know the evil deeds of Italian rule or the evil the evils of Italian and 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 the prom and to and to what's it called to to um, honor the promise of my of mine in the in the foreigner in the like mine that are abroad 
That's what he was saying to honor my my children that are abroad. Because if I don't if I don't keep covenant with them, like I promised them, then God isn't true. Like then God becomes like uh, obsolete. It doesn't matter. It's a lie. Nothing. There's no you know. There's no salvation for Israel dispersed abroad. You know, it's it's it, it would have made everything void. So that's what he was um he was expressing. But Olendorf thought that he made a mistake. See, which means it's like it's related to Witta, which it Witta is coming out. It's it's to come out. There's actually like a Torah portion that's that's called um, Weta. It's and which it's W and C H or which which it's it's and so it's it's the closest as possible to to Weta, but it's not the same because it means like a broad in the exterior. So you can also find it like as an example. You can find it like all throughout the book of um. J- uh, I forgot. I think you know. You know where they talk about the the sado um, priest, the line. I think it's like chapter forty of one of the prophets. Is it Ezekiel? Where he talks about the line of sado. Well, like if if you check that that chapter, like in the Amharic, you you'll see which the word like which which which, uh, like all kinds of times because it's talking about abroad and abroad and abroad and abroad. Yeah, it's chapter forty four, I think, of the. So because it's saying that and you shall come in and you shall come out and you shall come in and you shall come out. So it's it's expressing that word a lot because it means in the exterior. So when you come in the exterior, you're not going to come out with with clean and pretty robes, lest you defile the people with your appearance. You know, you're going to come out pure and true, is what he's saying. You're going to leave all the Ezekiel saying you're going to leave all the ornaments in the closet. You're not going to come out with gold and rubies so that people worship you. You're going to come out with with normal clothes. But when you go back into the sanctuary. You saying you're gonna you're gonna put on the holy vestments and all that kind of stuff so then then it actually describes kind of what we could interpret like a bobo shanti like with the with the hair dress the, exactly. so you know no chapter 44 of ezekiel it really does kind of like kind of like remind you of that you know because it's talking about the righteous lineage of the priesthood but anyways going back to the to the to the topic see the evidence is that you have you have vigor what did they what did they um like you know you know the children of Israel you know when when it says that the task master has afflicted them with um with rigor rigor would be in Spanish do you remember that word that they said like they afflicted them with like um like uh, like hard labor abola yeah no not in the Hebrew though the word they use in the English Oh. Like vigor? Is it vigor or something like that? Like, oh, they afflicted them with well, with burdens and, but when they cry out to Jai, I think it's chapter like two verse, because of their hard bondage. Anyways, well, I guess it doesn't make a difference. Hard bondage, that's what it would be. Yeah, in the process of time that they and side by reason of the bondage. Yeah, I guess bondage is like, well, I don't know if bondage would be like a good word to use, but. Anyways, the earth is Pesach is like bondage. It's like it's like uh, I don't even know how to say it, rigor. Um, and then the Day of Atonement is like forgiveness. But they have to meet. They have to become one, and then and then that's the eighth day. Pesach is is a mere it's it's a mere image of the Day of Atonement. If you notice, not things on my bed. so in, in between them, you find like the being caught up. I think maybe even that's probably gonna land like like in in the time when one receives the spirit or something. So what what I saw is that let's see how could I explain it in the yeah I guess I, I needed to kind of like meditate on this a little bit more, but in the beginning. There's like the heavens. So, if you're above the heavens, that means that you're not restricted to the laws of nature of cause and effect. If you're below the clouds, that means that you're affected by the laws of cause and effect and you don't manipulate them. You're not above them. Yeah. So, there's a division. Yeah, did you check out the metaphysical dictionary of Bala? No. So no, it's kind of, it speak kind of, it speak towards that, about what the carnal mind is. And, and, and I was just picking up a little bit on it. 
No, I really didn't. I really didn't. Um, did did uh did not check it check it out the metaphysical. I hardly. Yeah, but, I hardly but you're you're actually speaking about what what what, what it's saying. So. Well, you know, it's like I kind of forgot because I because I just kind of skimmed through this, but really, what it see the role of like of the sacrifice is to is to come close to John so that we can be the covering for sin because then then we being on earth we are we become the rod we become the the scepter we manipulate the heavens we manipulate the forces that be that minister to us when we are allowed like authority and you're not allowed authority until you're actually uh, until you crucify the self to be honest because only then does does one actually act in in agreement with that which is um like a requirement for you to be allowed authority like corrupt free you don't like you're not corrupt and so you're able to manipulate um you know the like all heavenly bodies and stuff like that because because of your your because of the righteousness and it's through Jesus Christos you know he becomes like our the 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 Norton, you know, the antivirus. You know how you were speaking about the computers and how protected. It, it, that's what it becomes. It's like a filter. Like you, you just can't be. You're not representing yourself, your vain, selfish interest. It's like you're in Christ. That's what allows you to. That's the safety feature, the check and balance that allows you to exercise the authority of His Majesty on Earth. And so basically, it's like that's what, like the Besach. It's an offering. To become, to become, to become the connection from uh, to to the above, to the heavens, and you will be in between. And so, through you, the world can exist. You uh, you become the atonement. You become the oneness of what they of what of what would otherwise be a be an obsolete universe, an obsolete world, an obsolete world. It makes no sense that Jah creates a world that does not worship it, and and nature itself serves no purpose but to, but as an atmosphere for the ones that worship God. No, that's fine. They, they, they've been screwed. It's fine. I'm, it, it's got to be real, you know. So, so His Majesty, it's like like I said. I mean, Ethiopia had no chance. So what made it possible? His Majesty, He's the rod. He's a connection to the heavens. He's He's allowed access. To manipulate, you know, those forces that otherwise he's got no chance on earth with the strength of, of man. Even if he is man, that's why he has to be the connection to the heavens. Because upon man's strength, Ethiopia has no chance at all. I mean, it, you know, and even then, you know, the, the, the faithful, the, the Arbenia watch, or however you pronounce that, you know, the... the the revolutionaries, the one that never gave up, that they were instructed by His Majesty, you know, to keep fighting. Even they were putting up a very strong fight and stuff like that. But you know, all that is also capable. It, all that is possible because of the of the connection with the heights. Because you know that you can manipulate life itself, and that gives you an extraordinary strength. So it's the day of the heroes. It, it, it really of the herui of the real people that that surpass the the you know the limitations of man's like inability to receive farther than the five foolish virgins or the five sense, senses that only only teach like deception they were so so caught up that they could fight a good fight you know like in, in which any other people upon the world would have been you know completely um just they would have not had the the strength to even like think that they had a chance i mean just think about it that way you see like just much machinery that you don't even know exists like planes and 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 like just like these metal tanks or whatever machine guns and stuff like that normal people would have flipped the heck up normal people would have ran and there you go barefoot with spears you know and a couple a couple of old school guns and you putting up a resistance like that's 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 like a, a very like um that's a very like a firm connection with with the fact that you're more than just a man 
if you include the heavenly powers to sustain you. So His Majesty becomes that ultimate connector. And through His prayer, and like He said, because I was able to keep my faith, then the rest of my country, Ethiopia, was able to keep their faith. He knew that even when he wasn't in Ethiopia. So to Ethiopians, he was dead. Where's the emperor? Oh, some people say that, you know, he's off into another world in Great Britain. What's Great Britain? I don't know. That must be what they call, you know, like, like Sheol or something. Think about it. I mean, it could be interpreted that way. You know, the Ethiopians were very isolated. You know, maybe the more educated ones knew... But they still didn't kind of know. I mean, for all they know, you know, it's rumors. I mean, that's they don't have no telephones per se, except for maybe a few, um, you know, a few telegraphs in, in certain places and stuff like that. I mean, it's just word of mouth, basically. So, where's His Majesty? Uh, Bath, something like Bath. You know, they're probably thinking Bathsheba, you know. So, in some well somewhere, you know. But... So they're thinking he's dead, but they still have faith. Why? Because he wasn't dead. Even though he's not there physically, they had faith that he, that he was with them. And, and they only had faith that he was with them because he had faith that God was with them. So, you know, as, as time passes by, you know, he resurrects. He resurrects and he, and he resurrects, you know, like on that May 5th. So this is like... This is like the, the manifestation of all feast throughout the year during this time period. The Passover, you know, the unleavened bread, the feast of, you know, the 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 50 days, the counting the Omar, and then, you know, like receiving the Holy Spirit and then becoming one, you know, the power of the Trinity. So this is like the Feast of Tabernacles, you know, out there in tents, hidden in, in caves and stuff like that, fighting a war, you know, so day and night, like just like... Just a, a <laughs> just, just like a uh, excuse the children for the distraction. Anyways, um, just a representation of like of the consummation of, of the age. Everything like being played out in one, the whole Bible, like in in a time period. And it's and it's like I said, it's not one day. I mean, it, it, it's a it's a series of events within a time frame. And then His Majesty proclaimed it a day. When he, when he, when he taught that today is is a new day in Ethiopia, and he proved that that good cannot be that evil cannot be rewarded with evil. He proved the strength of good, and so you leave all you leave all judgment to to you know to the powers that be, but you do not judge unrighteously. You rather seek justice and judgment itself will work itself out with those that are beneath the cloud with those that are overshadowed but we're over the shadow we're the image so it's this barrier mark so whoever people we represent they're actually covered by us we're the atonement so we're above the clouds and then the people is below the clouds, and if you're below the clouds, that means that you're left to the karma effect of law and each of of law, the law of um of like cause and effect. But because we have a representative, we cover for those people, and so you're manipulated on top of the clouds, the heavenlies, and so your people get 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 passed over through you, through your living sacrifice, you know. It, it, it basically what it comes down to, and 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 that's kind of like what I've been trying to bring forth. I've even I've been trying to put out more videos in English because that's our nature. We want people to stop being shot with 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 uh, by the hands of policemen and guns and stuff like that. Then don't be thinking that picking up a gun is going to make any different because we affect the powers that be that are above the clouds, and we affect them to to a very 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 like dramatic effect because when his majesty stepped down he gave all authority to his people and i'm not talking about ethiopians he gave it to us we no longer have a king of kings as a direct representative we actually become the representatives of the king of king that means that we don't have angels that are like in it like that are doing intercession for us we are the intercession so when we get mixed up, and this is, yeah, this is where Balaam comes in. When we get mixed up in thinking that we're like the people that surround us, we're no longer the people that are separated from them. We become mixed with them. 
and we become a curse because we're thinking like they're thinking we're eating stuff sacrificed to idols we're thinking that by picking up a gun we're gonna stop the fight we you that can't happen because when you shoot someone nothing gets fixed in heaven people you you it's like blaming the flesh oh you shot someone you shoot them back because because you're you're like them you're making it worse because you're not like them if you were like them it'd be better because at least they don't they have the excuse of ignorance and and they have representatives obama represents them in in heaven kind of that would be an example obama represents the united states people we as Rastafari, we represent each and every one of us the kingdom of heaven. So whatever we do, we're we're affecting heaven directly. Whatever US does, it doesn't affect it directly. It affects it directly when Obama makes a decision. And that's only an example because he's playing king. So now if we pick up a gun and shoot someone, we shot we shot someone very important in heaven. I mean, I don't know how to put like an example to it, but it's like you don't fix anything. It's it's judging unrighteous judgment because you're putting the blame on the flesh and the flesh is only the victim. And because you cannot think above above the flesh, you're trapped in the flesh, then you did not go in heaven and resolve this issue. And nothing got fixed. And so you're only condemning your generation and the generation to come with that bad decision to shoot someone else because you couldn't connect to the heavens, you being a spiritual being. And you, you descend, you're a fallen angel, you fell to you fell to the flesh, you contaminated yourself with death. And then you cause like that. From now on there's going to be more hatred against against the spiritual beings because because you shot someone. So that memory and that knowledge is going to be passed down from generation to generation and it's always going to come back to haunt Abraham's people. You know, kind of like, Mo okay, the Moabites. Why do they even exist? Because Abraham brought that upon us. It's not even something we did. But because Abraham, he decided to bring a lot with him, which was not part of the deal. We have to deal with Moabites until we fix it in heaven. Until we realize that this is... This is from within. So if we keep attacking the flesh, thinking that that's going to destroy Moab, no, that's giving them strength. We resolve this in heaven. We have to figure out where, do, where does Moab come from. He comes from Lot. Where does Lot come from? Who brought him into the kingdom? Ab Abram. And that wasn't part of the... That was not what Jah said. Jah said for him to be circumcised from the flesh. But because he tagged along the flesh... So now we got to deal with the Moabites all the time. So what, what do we have to do? Not battle them in the flesh. We have to overcome them in the spirit. And that means to understand the teaching. You know, the, the instruction of what's going on. So you eliminate like the growth and further spread of, of Moabites. So the solution is to sacrifice Mo the Moabites. And that's the Moabites within. And since we are spiritual beings and we're Rastafari, we're actually the representatives of the world. That means that if we if we fix ourselves, the world gets fixed automatically. And I tell Sister Manu, and I tell, and I said it in the videos. Now this is a difficult thing because it's too much, or people will think it's too much for it to be real. So people are gonna think it's a game and think, no, that cannot be true. Now you now you're blowing it out of proportion. Who do you think you are, God? Yes, but not in the way that ones would assume. So I even went as far as saying in the video, uh, yeah, it's not a game. So, so this is a time for you to be like, all right, if you're not sure, just walk out. It's best for you and it's best for all of us. Honestly, no hard feelings, no nothing, just leave. You, because you're bringing upon your own self the destruction of souls that Josh cherishes. And that's not a good thing to have. It's better to say, you know what, I'd rather not have nothing to do with Rastafari. I thought, I thought it wasn't this. It's not this. I don't, I don't want to be this. And then that would be kosher. That would be clean. That would be safer for you and for everyone else. Because the ones that are in spirit and in truth, guess what? They got no choice. It, it's us that are like, this is, my, this is what I was born for. I cannot, I cannot run from this. This is, this is what makes me. This is what I live for. This is what I, I, I live to die and to resurrect for this. Like, 
Nothing's going to stop me from this. Even if I wanted to, I can't deny myself. So if you got that spirit, you know, then now you know the responsibility. And it would be very easy for you to accept that. Your behavior affects the world entirely. So what I'm trying to get to is, and I kind of went off topic already, but this is very important for the society. And I, and I need to speak to Yadon about this and many other things, but I've been trying to contact him. I don't know. Um, I don't know what's going on with um, his phone. I'm sure he's busy too. But this is what needs to be done. We have to be a body. And I don't know the exact number. And I'm not going to pretend that we have to establish the number. No, we just have to like speak the word sound and then let them that receive, receive. But if we want to speak like, um, you know, kind of like just to get an idea of what I'm talking about. Jacob went into Egypt with 70 souls. Just, just outline, just like kind of like a, um, there, there must be a legal like um, numeration, a number that that constitutes le- legitimately a body, you know, a body, a full functioning body with all the members, you know, like necessary to to function as an entity. And so that body has to be the body of Mashiach, and w- this body is is the body to which head has in turn been established by he who established it and that's his majesty he removed his head his headship his raship and placed christ yes is for for us to be head but but he did not remove himself well he he um removed himself from the seat so that we can replace him but the head is Christ because it, then it seals the deal in the sense that it's a safeguard mechanism. It's like you cannot rule in Christ and be corrupt. It just doesn't happen. This is why it's so very interesting the, the Elijah and Elisha and the, and the cloak and the mantle and the, and the flag. It's an office. It's an office that must be taken out. out may, must be taken up. It's like Elijah was wasting his time after the flesh. This is, and this is part of the de- this is part of the the problem. We got to stop thinking that we're like normal people. We're not normal people, and the flesh benefit nothing. I know we all have ties to the flesh, but we got to say, "F my ties to the flesh. I don't represent this country. I don't represent that country. I represent the kingdom of God. I don't care what color you come from. I'm very well known in what I represent. I'm not going to get mixed up with the confusion." If I really care for the flesh that look like my flesh, then I gotta give them up. I gotta crucify it. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, for some time. If I really care for the people I say to represent, then I gotta forget about them and not let them contaminate my heights, my heavens. And only then, only then can you can you really take on office. That's what Elijah was going through. When when he when um Jezebel was going to kill, he, she's all like, "I swear on my gods that if you're not if you're not like them by tomorrow, you know it's me." The key is where she says, "My gods." This is who you're trying to convince, Elijah. You trying to convince a people that is not my people because you don't know because you haven't studied your your zeal is. With a lack of knowledge, you think that because they're a skin color or because they 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 wave a certain flag, you think that because they look a certain way, you think that because the, these people are make pretending that they're the kingdom of Israel, whatever, that they're my people. You're wrong. So, because Elijah got super depressed, he's all like, "Oh, I just take my life, you know, you know, I'm the last of your prophets." Uh, he's all like, "You don't even know." What, here, why don't you eat? Why don't you study some more Torah? Why don't you read a little bit more? And so he, st- and then he got, he got, he got like food. He got, he got um fed, and then he listen, you know, then he listened to a small still voice and stuff like that. Then he realized that I've been teaching to the wrong people. Just got people like all ready for me, and I've neglected them because I'm stuck on trying to convince Jezebel and her and her wicked followers. I've been dedicating myself to the wrong cause. That's what he had to learn. And when he went back, who, where'd he go? He, I think he was sent to Damascus. Damascus, it, that's not even the territory of Israel. That's further north, if I'm not mistaken. That's somewhere along the lines of Syria and all that. So it's like, it's pretty interesting. 
and there he was to find this this person, you know, that 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 was to be. Um, and I have, I think I I even have notes about that here too. But he was supposed to find um, what's this called, uh, uh, Elisha. So, anyways, Elisha then followed him, and then Elisha had to prove himself. You know, by following him. It says here, son of Shaphat, of Abel Mehola. Elisha. Anyway, so, so it's, it is an office. And the constitution of a society of a Machiber, it's, a, it's like a Hebrew society. So, so really, it becomes like, we then have to be that new race. Otherwise, the world cannot be. You see, everyone's distorted, everyone's mixed, everyone's confused. No one has anything to identify with. Um, just today, I heard something on the radio. It's like, and this dude was saying, you know what? We forget about all the Arab nations that there's Christians amongst them. So we, we so a lot of like Western civilization is 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 going full force of war against Arab nations and, and, and the Christians of the Arab nations are the ones that are getting it worse. So what represents what? So so if I'm American, what do I have to be? Do I have to be Jew? Do I have to be Catholic? And how do I have to look? Do I have to look black? Do I have to look brown? Do I have to look like oriental? Do I have to look like white? And even if I'm if I am one of these or what do I have to be like like um to the left or to our right? Do I have to be um should I be Democratic, Rep Republican? Should I be so? It's like this colonialism thing has completely distorted like the tribal lifestyle. Nobody has a centralized point to to as a foundation. Right. Everybody's like completely like we've destroyed like tribal living, so nobody's rooted to anything, and then there's no way to fix it because then you institute like a foreign way of life. And you just completely like just manifest anarchy in the minds of the of the of the inhabitants of the village because now they're thinking like so what do we do? Like okay, so we elect the governor and stuff like that. What what does that even mean? You know, like what happened to our traditions? You know, like we used to live a certain way. Now we completely just distorted. And and then well, along with that, you know, like all the temptations that come with it. But anyways. This world is, is, is completely out of order. Nobody knows what to defend, what they should defend. Everybody's, everybody's just given an opportunity to go full force to the options that they're given. You know, like, hey, pick up a gun and, and shoot everyone that's not Muslim. So, and deep down within, man is not all that bad. It's just that Israel is fail, it's failing. That's what I put the blame on. Because I've been taught by Mashiach to blame myself. But it's a blame, like, blame-free also. Because just like I know that, that, okay, I, I, um, Adam sinned, so it's not my fault. I didn't get an opportunity to live in a perfect environment. But at the same time, I know that the way to Adam to become one... And to and to overcome it is to confess that I'm still responsible for for his mistake, because his mistake was not to be responsible for his mistake. He was the covering to the world, and then he lied about it. Then he used his woman as an excuse to cover up for him, which was completely already out of out of order. And the woman used the cover up of a serpent of a snake to cover up for her for her mistake. And the serpent becomes me when I say it was me. I did it. But now the serpent couldn't say that because the serpent had nothing to do with it. Now that would be one, that would be just the side of the coin to see the personal responsibility in one thing. Now, of course, on the other side, because we live in a, in a dualistic world, kind of, but then we have to become one. So that even that is an expression of, of, of the coming together. The fact that, yes, it was me. But then, you know, because we live in this world, then we can say at the same time that, but there was a temptation. You know, there was something that, that kind of like, that I was kind of innocent towards, in the sense. But I still have to take responsibility, but I still also got to confess that, no, it was me that did it. 
because the contract was with me. You told me not to do something, and even though there was like you know whispers around and stuff like that, it was still me. What what does the serpent have to do with it? You know, in a way, the serpent the serpent can't talk. It's just a snake. It's just you know blame the snake. He won't be able to say anything, so he didn't say anything. But when we when we crucify that, then we become you know we become trustworthy again. Because worst case scenario, we're honest about what we're doing. So that's my my reason for you know for taking on this responsibility and saying no. You know what? If I think myself as higher than than um than just a common uh you know um goyim, then then I must be lower than them. And to say that I serve them, so if they're not acting properly, then it's my responsibility. And in this sense, we become the new race. We become the man representative that gives hope to everyone. What is needed. We become light beings. We, we surpass the flesh and then we become these individuals that are spiritual. This body which is constituted or is, yeah, which is constituted or made up of all people from all places, different shapes, forms, ways, and different backgrounds, experiences, different colors, different ethnicities, different countries, different religions, different nations, I mean at least in, in the root at the beginning. And then this people that don't look like no people and are no people but are one people. Are one mind, one heart, one soul. One, and so what that does, and, and along with the teachings, with the elaborations of what we have received and to transmit the teachings into this day, us being the connector rod so that the will in heaven be done on earth, then we give light to the people and then people will start to realize that, that hey, wait a minute, those people are not a people, they're made up of all kinds of people, they're no people, whatever, and, and still they're one people. That's, that, that's, I can relate to that. I can relate to that because because I don't feel like I fit anywhere, and they don't fit anywhere. Like if you want to like just on on the you know just like in in this worldly way of looking at things, but they seem to fit perfectly because they all seem to think the same thing. They all seem to be one mind, one soul, one heart, one spirit. But at the same time, they seem to be have nothing in common. They seem to be very different. So. So then the world gets an opportunity to see a, a, a constituted Mashiach to, as a walking, living example of how, of how we can be greater than we have ever been. And that's when His Majesty is saying, like, it's, it, we have to be members of a new race. Now, if, if, if I want the world to receive that, that His Majesty is who He is, then I have to prove that. So that His words could be taken seriously and that all glory and honor be attributed to Him. Because if we become a society, a full grown, fully, full, full, yeah, full grown, like with all members that, const that are required to constitute a nationality or whatever, a new race, a people, or at least one identity, and we live and act accordingly, then people will say that person that they have that they have received to be the foundation is is for sure that person that they claim him to be, because they are the living evidence, and they give glory to that which otherwise would have been unknown. Because that is that is a body formed of members of a new race. What do you call that race? Should we call them Negro? Should we call them Caucasian? Do we call them Mexican or do we call them Chinese? Do we call them Republican? Do we call them, uh, you know, like Democrat? What do you call that nation? That's a new race. And so then the world gets a chance to like behold a new man, you know, a, a man that's, that, you know, that's it's in the spirit. So anyway, that kind of lost track. I was just talking. I was just trying to talk about the <laughs> about the um. About I like the, the part about the he the heavens. I, some of it I'm still I think still gonna absorb in a little bit. But the part about the Takuna Lam, like you know, what they what they speak about it is, is that I've been thinking about also, and I take note about what I say about the gun. Sometimes I think that you know, in the temporal still. Well, you know, all of these things have to... See, what I'm talking about 
is a latter manifestation, which is other, which is anyways, it, it's, if anything, it, it doesn't matter. Because what, what I and I is trying to stimulate is, worst case scenario, the need to, to, to just know that fulfilling a simple lifestyle in which you act right is equivalent to manifesting this entity that I'm talking about. It's not to pressure anyone into thinking that, oh wow, this is a burden.